Yo, what is up guys and welcome to the first episode of this tutorial series on how to create your Discord bot using Discord.js version 13. In this episode, we're going to be going through how to start your project, how to get the bot online and give it a custom status. The first thing that you need to do is download node.js and the link for it is going to be down, uh, in, down in the description. Um, it's a simple installation. Uh, uh, process so you, you you don't have to worry about it and then you need to download your favorite code editor i'm going to be using visual studio code throughout this series because it's the easiest to work with now we create our bot folder right click on desktop create your bot folder name it whatever you want it to be i'm gonna name it leaks code once that is done you go to your visual studio code and you add that folder to your desktop i mean your um, uh, workspace Press on add and once that folder is here you create a new terminal and inside that terminal you type npm init dash y and then here you're gonna see a, a package rotation file created inside that folder that you created and here you're gonna see um, some information about your bot you can edit it but it's not required to all right i pressed on debug you don't have to press on uh, on debug we go back to the file all right let's clear the console and then now we're gonna download the discord.js um, uh, version 13 because it's not out yet we're gonna download the development version of it so we're gonna type npm i discord.js at the dash dash save and this is gonna download discord.js version 13 as you see here all right now we create two additional files the first one is going to be called index.js you're going to call also you can also call the main or bot.js and now we're going to create a config.json file because we're going to be storing some information about the bot that we can access from every file like uh, the prefix token etc all right now if you head back to index.js um, we're going to create uh, or we're going to define discord um, inside of our index.js we're gonna type const discord equals to require discord.js and now we're gonna require or get some stuff from that package so we can uh, type less code um, instead of typing for example discord dot intent we can only type intent so we do uh, const intent equals to discord simple as that now we're going to define our client so we type const client equals to new discord.client and then here we're going to set our options and we will need to uh, type intents in here right and then we're going to create an array and then here we're going to type intents intents dot lags dot guilt and then intents dot flags dot messages and then intents dot re capital i intents dot flags dot guide members as you see here so what this will do is basically uh, make the api send us information about these specific things and we're gonna ignore all of the other things that we don't need uh, so it's basically uh, more memory friendly to the bot and now down here we're gonna uh, create our first event which is gonna be called client.once ready so client.once ready we're gonna create an error function and then we're gonna console.log that the client is now online then we're gonna add an emoji by pressing windows dots inside of our uh, um, uh, visual cd code and we're gonna just add an emoji i'm gonna add this one you don't have to if you don't uh, want to and then we're gonna set the client user activity so client dot user dot set activity we're gonna set it to be lex code you can set it to be whatever you want and then the type of the activity is gonna be watching you can create a, you can put streaming playing listening etc just like that then we close these lines and now we're gonna create our login function. So we type client.login login and then we leave this for now and we go ahead and create our bot application. So you go to your uh, third link in the description and it's gonna take you to the developers application section. And then here you're gonna need to log in into your Discord account and create a new application by hitting that button. And here you can input the name of your app 
hit create and then if you go to settings to the bot section you can add bot yes do it and this, will, this is gonna create your bot uh, user and here we're gonna allow this privilege uh, getaway intents say remember intent and the present intent so we can collect data later on in the series all right now here we can change the uh, profile picture of your bot and here you can change the username but what we care about is the token i'm gonna copy the token and we're gonna go to the config.json file we're gonna open up these brackets and we're gonna assign the token to be the actual token now make sure nobody sees this token because whoever has it can control your bolt without you knowing it all right so now if we go back to the index.js file we can import that token from config to our index.js so we type const token equals to require dot slash config.json or wherever you store uh, your config.json file all right now uh, and here we're gonna type login just like that and we're gonna pass in the actual token now if we clear our terminal we're gonna invite our bot first then we can turn it to uh, turn it online so we go to our um, uh, developer portal and then we go to the second option under the settings and now here we select bot and application commands for the slash commands later on in the series you give it administrator permissions and then you can add it to your discord uh, server just like that now we should see it pop up in our discord server just like that now to turn it online you go back to your terminal and you type node space dot and it should print that client is now uh, online like we have set it to print over here and if you go to the discord server we should see the bot go online with the custom status that we gave it thank you guys for watching see you in the next episode